We're here today thanks to NHS England, who put up the funding for this programme, Health and Social Movement. And in doing so, they set us a challenge that we have to do something radical and different. The social movements are known, you know, for being kind of loud and in, in good ways, protests and so on. We aren't doing enough to rage and roar. You know, what are some creative things that we can do to, to get in front of people in a positive way to really make things happen? You can't commission a social movement. If you do commission it, it's almost becoming something else already. And I wanted to talk to other people who would think very differently from me, particularly from the community arts world, where they would come up with ideas I hadn't thought of, I had no hope of thinking of. We've brought together activists in the communities where we work. We've actually focused on arts and how getting engaged through arts can make a difference and also through food with the serious purpose of bringing attention to the social crisis that we have on our hands, which is about loneliness and people being isolated and disconnected from the rest of society. What we wanted to do was just create a sense of connection for people. So today was the space for that and I think being able to do that in this building, this is a museum of democracy and I think today has been about people power and people power is the way forward. We just need to be doing more of it. We need to kind of grow and develop and strengthen the resilience of people to be able to do stuff they do far better than public services do on their behalf. I think there's a moment of public service humility needed in us recognising that actually we're not in control of all the solutions and part of our job might be clearing the path or getting out of the way um, or cultivating this kind of event, this kind of movement. Most of the key impacts and influences on whether we are and feel healthy actually have nothing to do with our access to formal health and social care services. They are to do with whether we can maintain our friendships, how secure and stable our homes are, whether we can work, how we can travel, how we can maintain some of our social connections. And that actually, all of that evidence was staring us in the face, and, and it's well trodden and, and it's globally proven. There are hundreds, hundreds of organisations that are looking at arts and health in different ways. This is not an unresearched field, it actually is a very researched field and that body of research is keeping going all the time. What Live Well May Art is trying to do is not trying to duplicate the work of these incredible organisations. It's trying to do something quite different. Some of that research suggests that things happen when people come together at a particular time, a particular place. It could also be through conferences, through workshops, where people get inspired by connections with other people. Hundred Moments was a fantastic way of really celebrating the work that's going on across Greater Manchester, but really trying to make it more visible to a much wider range of people. We had a fantastic performance from a group who called themselves the Anti-Loneliness League and I think they touched us all enormously today. It's been very inspiration. I've been incredibly moved, you know, with I didn't expect, you know, the, the sort of personal performances that were going on and I'm stunned actually as to how many organisations are doing the kind of work that they're doing in Greater Manchester. This is actually the tip of the iceberg in terms of what's happening in communities but I think we've found some of the energy that, that sits out there. Fabulous day, lots of great people inspiring people, great organisations sharing the good work and the good practice really. It's raised my awareness that the whole notion of health as a social movement. It's a movement that's gathering momentum and 
one that's important for the groups like mine, it's just a small, small group. It's just interesting to start looking at well-being from the point of view of creativity. We like structure, don't we? We like to know exactly what's happening and being um, left to create things is sometimes kind of daunting and scary, but actually it's where big things happen.